And all candor, I would tell you it's outrageous filth. And if I could find some way constitutionally to do away with it, I would. Susan Baker and Tipper Gore formed the Parents Music Resource Center, or PMRC. The Washington wives are called Mrs. Albert Gore, the senator's wife, and Mrs. James Baker, the wife of the Treasury Secretary. They compiled a list of songs they found particularly offensive, branded the Filthy Fifteen. It was Motley Crue, it was Wasp, it was the album that had the guy with the cod piece that had the big buzz. She could say she was a sex fiend. 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 Sex fiend.
lyrics have turned from I can't get no satisfaction to I'm going to force you at gunpoint to eat me alive. Some of it is encouraging. Unlawful behavior. Unlawful behavior. Unlawful behavior. Unlawful behavior. censorship and it smells like censorship it is censorship no matter whose wife is talking about it is censorship looks like censorship smells like censorship looks like censorship smells like censorship smells like censorship censorship like censorship smells like censorship looks like censorship looks like censorship looks like censorship had been accused of poisoning America's youth. In the 1950s, politicians took aim at a different menace, comic books. The post-World War II boom in horror, crime, and romance comics alarmed psychiatrist Frederick Wortham, who testified at Senate hearings in 1954. It's my opinion, without any reasonable doubt, and without any reservation, that comic books are an important contributing factor in many cases of juvenile
33 to 33, 45 to 45 to 78 to 78 to 33 to 33, 45 to 45 to 78 to 78 to 33 to 33, 45 to 45 to 78 to 78. This project was made possible by our season sponsors, Orange County, United Arts, the State of Florida, and ACS. Our wonderful board members, among whom are Mary Solik and Jason Schaller. We thank our donors and members, as well as our business sponsors. Please thank them for their support for Timuqua. <laughs>